if you want to set up your code so it's flexible and you can use it to create multiple objects, then you're going to use constructor notation. And you're going to want to call a function. So you're going to use the keyword function followed by whatever you're going to call this object. And you're going to set it up to accept data. Okay. And then you're going to populate the properties. And this refers to whatever object called, func uh, called person. So down here, we are creating something called my father. It's calling person and it's sending data. So if we're on this line of code, this refers to my father. Okay, and it'll populate first name with John, last name with Doe, et cetera. If we're on this line of code and we're processing my mother, this refers to my mother. Okay, because that is what called new person and it's executing the code. So basically this is the current object that is processing. And here's another little example. Uh, here we've got pet, name, breed, and color. And so you can see this is set up to handle multiple objects and here we've got a bunch of prompts and then we're creating my pet and we're calling new pet and we're running through that code okay we're doing it down here and down here as well so it's processing in this little program three different objects with the same section of code